Savior teaches about rest. The Savior said to his disciples, Now the time has come, brothers and sisters, for us to leave our labor behind and stand at rest. For whoever stands at rest will rest forever. I say to you, always rise above. Time. I say to you, do not be afraid of those. You. I say to you, anger is frightening, and whoever stirs up anger is a frightening person. But since you have been able to endure, it may come from you. People received these words about anger with fear and trembling. Anger established rulers over them, for no one escapes anger. But when I came, I opened a path and taught people about the way of passage for those who are chosen and alone, who have known the Father and have believed the truth. And you offered praise, giving praise to the Father. Now, when you offer praise, do so in this way. Hear us, Father, as you have heard your only Son and have received him to yourself. You have given him rest from many labors. Your power is invincible because your armaments are invincible. Light, alive, inaccessible, alive. The true word has brought repentance for life and this has come from you. You are the thought and supreme serenity of those who are alone. Again, hear us as you have heard your chosen. Through your sacrifice, the chosen will enter. Through their good works, they have freed their souls from blind bodily limbs, so that they may come to be forever. Amen. Overcoming the Power of Darkness I shall teach you. At the time of destruction, the first power of darkness will come upon you. Do not be afraid and say, Look, the time has come. But when you see a single staff, understand that from such thing and the rulers come upon you. In truth, fear is the power of darkness. So if you are afraid of what is about to come upon you, it will overwhelm you. Then not one among them will spare you or show you mercy. Rather, look at what is within, since you have mastered every word on earth. This will take you up to a place where there is no dominion and no tyrant. When you, you will see those, and you will also hear them. I tell you, reflection. Reflection is where truth is, but they and you, truth. This is in living mind. Therefore, and your joy, in order that your souls, lest the word which they raised, and they could not understand it, make what is inside you and what is outside you a single one. To be sure, the place of crossing is frightening in your sight, but without hesitation, pass by. Its depth is great, its height is staggering. Be of a single mind, and the fire, dew drops, all powers, you. They will, and all powers, they in front, I tell you, the soul becomes, in each one. You are, and that, Sleep not, the children, and you. The Savior and his disciples discussed the inner life. Matthew said, How? The Savior said, If you do not keep what is within you in order, your work will remain, but you will not. Judas said, Master, I want to understand all the works of the souls that are in these little ones. When? Where will they be, the Spirit? The Master said, Receive them. They do not die and are not destroyed, because they have known their companions and the one who will receive them. For truth seeks the wise and the righteous. The Savior said, The lamp of the body is the mind. As long as what is within you is kept in order, that is, the soul, your bodies are enlightened. As long as your hearts are dark, your light which you expect is far from you. I have called you to myself, since I am about to depart, so that you may receive my word among yourselves. Look, I am sending it to you. Who seeks? Who reveals? His disciples said, 
Master, who seeks and who reveals? The Master said to them, One who seeks also reveals. Matthew said to him again, Master, when I listen to you and I speak, who is it who speaks and who listens? The Master said, One who speaks also listens, and one who can see also reveals. Mary said, Master, look while I wear a body. Where do my tears come from? Where does my laughter come from? The Master said, The body weeps because of its works and what remains to be done. The mind laughs because of the fruits of the Spirit. Whoever does not stand in darkness will not be able to see the light. I tell you, what has no light is darkness, and whoever does not stand in darkness will not be able to see the light. The children of falsehood, however, were taken out. You will put on light, and so you will live forever. If, then, all the powers above and below will treat you harshly, in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth over the end of all. The creation of the world. See that all things are just like signs over the earth, and that is why they have come to be in this way. The emergence of the word. The master said, when the father established the world, he collected some of its water, and the word came from it. It experienced many troubles, but it was more exalted than the path of the stars around the entire earth. He continued, the water collected above is beyond the stars, and beyond the water is a great fire encircling them like a wall. Periods of time began to be measured once many of the beings that were within had separated from the rest. When the word was established, he looked down. The father said to him, Go, send something from yourself so that the earth may not be in want from generation to generation and from age to age. So he sent from himself fountains of milk, fountains of honey, oil, wine, and fine fruit and delicious flavors and sound roots, so that the earth might not be deficient from generation to generation and from age to age. The word is above, stood and showed his beauty, and outside was a great light, brighter than the one like it, for that one rules over all the realms above and below. Light was taken from the fire and dispersed in the firmament, above and below. Those over the heaven above and the earth below depend upon them. Everything is dependent upon them. When Judas heard this, he bowed down, fell on his knees, and praised the Master. The Savior and his disciples discussed the place of life. Mary asked her brothers, where are you going to store these questions, you ask, of the Son of Humanity? The Master said to her, Sister, no one can ask about these things except someone who has a place to store them in the heart. And such a person can leave the world and enter the place of life, and will not be held back in this world of poverty. Matthew said, Master, I want to see that place of life where there is no wickedness, but only pure light. The master replied, Brother Matthew, you will not be able to see it as long as you wear flesh. Matthew said, Master, if I cannot see it, at least let me understand it. The master said, Everyone who has known oneself has seen oneself. Everything that person is given to do, that person does. So such a person has come to resemble that place in goodness. How does an earthquake shake? Judas answered and said, Tell me, Master, how does an earthquake shake when it shakes the earth? The Master picked up a stone and held it in his hand. He said to him, What am I holding in my hand? He answered, It is a stone. He said to them, What supports the earth is also what supports heaven. When a word comes from the Majesty, it will go to what supports heaven and earth. The earth does not move. If it moved, it would collapse. But it does not, so that the first word might not fail. The word established the world and dwelled in it and smelled the fragrance from it. I make
make known to you, all you children of humanity, all the things that do not move, for you are from that place. You live in the hearts of those who speak out in joy and truth. If the word comes from the Father's body among people and they do not receive it, it will return back to its place. Coming to Understanding Whoever does not know the work of perfection does not know anything. One who does not stand in the darkness cannot see the light. One who does not understand how fire came to be will burn in it, not knowing its origin. One who does not first understand water knows nothing. For what use is there for such a person to be baptized in it? One who does not understand how the wind that blows came to be will blow away with it. One who does not understand how the body that a person wears came to be will perish with it. How will someone who does not know the Son know the Father? All things are hidden from one who does not know the root of all things. Whoever does not know the root of wickedness is no stranger to it. Those who do not understand how they came will not understand how they will go. And they are no strangers to this world, which will exalt itself and be humbled. Judas, Matthew, and Mary have an apocalyptic vision. He took Judas, Matthew, and Mary to show them the final consummation of heaven and earth. And when he placed his hand on them, they hoped they might see it. Judas gazed up and saw a region of great height, and he saw the region of the abyss below. Judas said to Matthew, Brother, who can ascend to such a height or descend to the abyss below? For there is great fire there and great terror. At that moment a word issued from the height. As Judas was standing there, he saw how the word came down. He asked the word, Why have you come down? The Son of Humanity greeted them and said to them, A seed from a power was deficient, and it descended to the earth's abyss. The Majesty remembered it and sent the word to it. The word brought the seed up into the presence of the Majesty so that the first word might not be lost. His disciples marveled at everything he told them, and they accepted all of it in faith. And they understood that it was no longer necessary to keep an eye on evil. Then he said to his disciples, Didn't I tell you that, like a visible flash of thunder and lightning, what is good will be taken up to the light? All his disciples praised him and said, Master, before you appeared here, who was there to praise you? For all praises are because of you. Or who was there to bless you? For all blessing comes from you. As they were standing there, he saw two spirits bringing a single soul with them, and there was a great flash of lightning. A word came from the Son of Humanity, saying, Give them their garments. And the small became like the great. They were like those who received up. There was no distinction among them. The words he spoke convinced the disciples. Mary asks about the vision. Mary said to him, Look, I see the evil that affects people from the start when they dwell with each other. The master said to her, When you see them, you understand a great deal. They will not stay there. But when you see the one who exists eternally, that is the great vision. They all said to him, Explain it to us. He said to them, How do you wish to see it? In a passing vision or in an eternal vision? He went on to say, Do your best to save what can come after me, and seek it and speak through it, so that whatever you seek may be in harmony with you. For I say to you, truly the living God is in you, as you also are in God. Judas asks about the rulers of the world and the garments. Judas said, I really want to learn everything. The master said to him, the living God does not dwell in this entire region of deficiency. Judas asked, Who will rule over us? The master replied, Look, here are all the things that exist among what remains. You rule over them. Judas said, But look, the rulers are over us, so they will rule over us. The master answered, You 
will rule over them. When you remove jealousy from yourselves, you will clothe yourselves in light and enter the bridal chamber. Judas asked, How will our garments be brought to us? The master answered, There are some who will provide them for you, and others who will receive them, and they will give you your garments. For who can reach that place? It is very frightening. But the garments of life were given to these people because they know the way they will go. Indeed, it is even difficult for me to reach it. Mary utters words of wisdom. Mary said, So, the wickedness of each day is sufficient. Workers deserve their food. Disciples resemble their teachers. She spoke this utterance as a woman who understood everything. <laughs>